Hey guys, Sal here. Welcome back to some Haruka Noitsu. It is time not to do the recruit because I'm still one random short and I'm still trying not to do it. I need to save, man. I need to freaking save. That one is not going to get me hurt most Ema. But who knows, it possibly could as well. It's driving me insane. I need her banner to be over with already. Midnight Lung Men, CBST2. Rumor has it that at midnight you can encounter ghosts on the streets of Lung Men, who will usher you to a glorious bygone era. However, you have to take some time to discern whether these ghosts are actually living or dead. Uh, that sounds interesting. 12 a.m. Dusty. Or 0 a.m. Still not entirely sure how you say that. New day. <laughs> Downtown Lungman, busy street. Zero o'clock. Hey, you're doing the whole triad face thing again, you know. Welcome back. Did you look into these people for me? I came up with a rough sketch. As much as I'd like to bring these evildoers to justice, looks like it's not going to be a one-woman job. I may have to ask for help at the office. Seems they're not your run of the mill punks. And that Ark wasn't exactly forthcoming. He has to go and make everything so complicated. I'm sorry, who? Ark. Uh, uh? His name is Ark. Uh, okay, well, since it's not so simple, I'll help out. You were listening, weren't you? A bunch of street thugs is one thing, but if we're dealing with a large-scale organized syndicate, we can't just go in there and start throwing punches. We have other options besides going in there and starting to throw punches, don't we? Are you really going to nail me on semantics? I'm not joking. Is Uncle Tongue okay? He wasn't hurt badly, but that's not the point. Right, it's not. If this were just some underworld spat, I wouldn't get involved. But when I see the wicked strike the innocent before my very eyes, I can't sit idly by and let them run amok. Thanks. You've earned some fin balls for on me. I don't need fin balls. Still have no clue what the hell a fin ball is. By the way, this business tonight has something to do with penguin logistics. They're not even trying to cover up their involvement. They are good people, they probably just got mixed up in it somehow. They've gotten mixed up in some things somehow a dozen of times this year alone. They need to be a little more careful and stop making trouble for everyone. If we run into them, we'll have to give them a warning. Uh huh, I don't think a warning would do much. Sandor at a Ginny of Marts. <laughs> Guess the freak running Lugman's underworld had to have some teeth to him. Mr. Capone, you don't mean. He ain't the kind of guy you want to piss off, Capiche. The Rat King. But we're facing off against the boss. Payment Logistics and. The end half of Lugman, yeah. The outlook ain't so rosy, no room for mistakes. What are you doing, Mr. Capone? Put down the crossbow! You thought going against the family would be easy. I remember the face of every last man who agreed to follow me to Longman, who's ready to betray Gambino for the sake of survival. And you ain't one of them. Take a dirt nap, Gambino dog. Get out of here. Here I thought you were just an ungrateful Kaza. Now I see you learn to buy and sell men. Who do you think taught me? Sure as hell wasn't me. You earned my loyalty, then you let me down harder than anything ever has. I won't make the same mistake. You know what the betrayal means, don't you? It's Sierra Cruz's greatest crime. But too bad for you, your honor and glory ain't worth shit in Lungman. Take it. The Jack of Spades. I told you, you deal too slow. You're even slower with that sword, Gambino. You got hurt in your fight with penguins, or are we open in, in old wounds? Seeing you turn coward like this makes me sick. I'm stuck thinking about how I should kill a traitor like you. You're the Joker here now. What's next? What are you gonna do? You take out Penguin Logistics, you take out the Rat King, you take out the LGD, you take out Wei Yun Wu. You're dreaming, why not fall asleep forever? Don't worry, I'll send your asses back to Siracusa. 
Maybe we'll have the old village grind your corpse up. Whoa, what are you? What? Sounds like we got party crashes. I should have killed you quicker, but now we gotta play host. Stop him. Ah, uh, my toe. What's this? Kung Fu. Can't even touch it. No, no, I'm just get him. Oh. Uh huh. Huh. So it's you two. I don't like to go around picking on weak little ladies, but. You tore through my boys, walked right up to me, and you don't got a speck of dust on those pretty clothes of yours. You the Rat King's people. We were you in the slums. You broke up a fight between Sicilians. You got the balls to ask questions. Yeah, I'd say it was you two. This mook. Ugh. And just some mook. Are you going to just watch? Don't get me wrong. It's always a good idea to borrow a knife to uh, off somebody, but I gotta deal with this Kazo myself. On the other hand, you look like you're a handful. I think you should surrender, really. Ha! You're about as good as that wolf, who knew the Rat King had cards like you up his sleeve. What cards? What are you talking about? Just get down on the floor and turn yourself in. Ugh. Hey, I remember you, I met you before. You dressed up like a seafood salesman, played like you were making fin balls. Funny, I never thought I'd have to give you a second look. No, I really am a... never mind. Right now, just for tonight, I am what you think I am. Ah uh, yeah? Huh. You getting beat by a girl over there, Gambino. Oh, I'm still gonna kill you. Wipe that smile off your face. You've been looking for chances to take a blo low blow, dirty fighter. How can you hope to win if you strike with the wrong part of your fist? You will pay for the harm you have done. I love how Waifu is able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these enemies, especially the bosses. Yet she takes like three hits and she's basically at half health. Now, be it, it could be her level. Oh, there's another element to her that I just don't realize yet. You had me wait so l long just to bring me here. What is this about? Are we g looking at grave plots? You want to be my neighbor and even in death. After so many years in business, how do you keep such a sharp tongue? I don't talk to my customers like this, but you're not a customer. I'm hurt. This is Afar's grave. You probably don't know him. This one's Rascally Chance, and over here is Fake Yama. Then in back is Old Wu and the Steel Psycho. Plus Lucky On. Lucky On his family was rich, he, so he got the hillside sp plot. So many. At least they're all neighbors. We should think about where we'll stay too. I think it's still too early for that. What are you trying to tell me? You got some terminal illness. It's not early. We don't live long enough, so it always feels like we've been through tough times. Like me, our brothers gave their lives for us, but now that I've settled down, I look back and reflect on my life. And nothing seems like that big of a deal anymore. If there was anything really that big, I wouldn't be able to enjoy a peaceful life. Oh my, did selling finballs bring you such enlightenment? Honestly, food price inflation is a lot more dangerous to me than the mob. Die low. Once you be my neighbor here, the Feng Shui is excellent, and I hear you get a better deal buying the plots in pairs. Are you done? I'm joking. It's a joke. Ah, uh, yeah. At least you have a daughter. I'm going to die alone. You have all the kids in the slums with you, don't you? And that's our Phil boy. But there's no blood. It makes a difference when you get old. So you have to outlive me a bit. Not too much, just a bit. I'll wait for you down there. Are you always looking for ways to needle me? By the way, I'm meeting an old friend later tonight. Would you like to join us for a drink? No thanks. I'm worried our Phil is off getting himself into trouble. I'd better look into it. I'll look into it for you. And how many old friends do I have left? I think they're all down there. You have one. I can't talk with the one called Wei. I've been dealing with him a long time. It would be very short-lived. But you took a bullet for Wei and Wu. 
It's why you can't walk straight anymore. You think I don't know, huh? I don't want to talk about this. It always makes me feel wretched. But at least Lungman can walk straight, at least she's not wretched. You're the same as she ever were, and I guess that's a good thing. If you've really seen enough of him, then you better be on your way. And even if he did see you, he probably wouldn't know what to say. He finally let me go, Lin, this poor old wounded man. Mr. Tung, what's that? Live a while longer, sell m some more fin balls. Buy yourself a building, open a restaurant, take a few apprentices, then maybe think about where to put your coffin. There's no rush. The Rat King still lives, it's not your turn to die yet. Fine. Who is Uncle Tung? Have I seen him before? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so if I remember correctly, I think we need to upgrade all of the terminals and place down our own terminal before we end the mission. Elite 1 level 45. The great thing about outdoor parties is that there's plenty of room to crack some skulls. The bad thing is, you'll probably end up disturbing the peace. Most of the time, the pros and cons cancel and reinforce each other. Command terminal depletes one HP seal if destroyed. Grant additional something for a portable supply station. Oh my god. So there's stairs down there. Um <laughs> Which way are the bullies going to come from? Are they going to be bullies or is it going to be the big guys? Also, I have to protect the stairs because if the enemies come from the left side, get through the stairs, they'll be able to doubly, double down on the entire right side. AKA, the right side will get so hammered by enemies that we won't be able to do anything. Which means that the bottom left might be exactly where the bullies come from. If there are any. And then they'll just run through the stairs and then run that way. Which is the furthest away from where we have to defend. Is there a place where I can put her? Yeah, technically speaking, I can put her there. Yeah, okay. So put a tank by the stairs. And then put a three. Okay, yeah. I'll just, I'll just show it off once we actually get there. Um, May. Uh, I, I want to get freaking points with you, god dang it. Scotty can't really do anything against the bullies. Mainly because she can't defend. So if three, let's bring you shining. You should be fine. Let's go with this and see what happens. This probably isn't going to go well, is it? I'm tired of this. Uh. You're strong, and you've shown me some really cool kung fu. But I can't keep playing with you like this. So real sorry about this, but you, your body, and that traitor, you all gotta die here. Boys, weapons ready. Ready? So you're going to win with sheer numbers? It ain't so simple, Gambino. Listen up, once the so-called boss opens fire, that's the official announcement of the end of your affiliation with the Gambino family. Don't go easy on him. Got it. Waifu, this side too. We're getting boxed in. Ha, huh. we got the family all split up and the prig becomes the predator. We got a nice chaotic battle here where each fallen into each other's traps. It's just like that time back in Siracusa. But this time it's a gamble where you got no choice but to win. Too bad you've always been a shit gambler. Alright, that's enough. Settle down. What? You finally crawled out of your filthy hole. Mr. Gambino, 
I am truly sorry, but I've given you and your family so many chances. We got no trust between us at all. You really think I'd hand the family over to some non-Sicilian freak? Sicilian? Well, I have not once in my life set foot in a Syracuse city. I do know that you are unworthy of describing yourself as such. What are you gonna do? The time for questions has passed, young man, and you have broken the rules far too many times. Once was your transgression, and one other was yours. But it matters not, you have both overstepped your bounds. You're going back on your deal. I made no deal. Huh, you really think you can take us? You sit on a throne in a stinking sewer, telling desperate people who got no choice but to throw down their lives what to do. That's you. It behooves you, as head of your household, to broaden your horizons. Compared to everything we have been through, your little Syracuse and fiasco was a stub toe. Shut up. Have you ever seen a true onslaught? What it means to truly have barbarians at your gates? When moving cities crash against one another, smoke chokes the skies, and a dying infected rot away by cesspools crying in hopeless agony. You know nothing, and yet you think you can fight. You know nothing, and yet you think to fight a city. He's immensely powerful. Him and that woman with him. Shit, we have to at least stop provoking the Rat King. Now is not the time. You think you stand for all of Lungmen? Lungmen certainly cannot stand for me. Enough talk. Huh. No one will permit you to strike this old man. Get back, waifu. Out of my way. Thank you. You are our Phil. I've heard your story. You're the one Uncle always talks about. Heh, <laughs> my old friend. I thank you for helping Lugman put a stop to them. And I thank you for your pursuit of justice. Now, please leave. But... I promised many times to many people that I would not let your children get mixed up in such matters. Waifu. Fine. The children are gone, and with them you hope of victory. Put down your weapons, kneel before me, and your family will have at least some chance to survive. Do you really think your threats mean anything? You are uh, uh, You are on our land. It means to us. Uh, you are on our land. It means to us what Syracuse means to you. You must know this much. You still have some chips on the table, young man. Wouldn't you like to save them? Quicksand! Run! Uh, my hand! D don't touch the sand! You cocky! Huh. Calm yourself, young man. I don't need my hands to stop your sword. Look around you at your companions. This city has bled so much already. I really don't want to see your family killing one another on the program. This is your last chance. I ain't gonna turn coward again. Leaving Cedar Cruz was the last step backwards for my family. I'd rather die here than like a true Sicilian, than never let the enemy see me run off and put my tail between my legs. I mean, the enemy already technically has when you left Syracusa, so... Perhaps in your mind, this is the way for a warrior to behave. But for a leader, going too far is as bad as not going far enough. You should reflect and introspect. Unfortunately, it is too late. Ugh. This is the end, Gambino. You should never have bet the whole family on this. Capone, you, you son of a... Calm down, we don't want you to go out too hard. Gah. Funny, you don't look surprised at all. Were you waiting for me to do this? What are you thinking, backstabbing boss killer? I'll offer up the whole family. We're gonna live here in Lungmin. And we're not gonna fall on our swords for no good reason. It's too bad. If you were truly willing to work together, that woman never would have exiled you from Monsieur Cusa. You know a lot about us, but I'm not gonna ask. It's Lungmin. Indeed, it's Lungmin. You mean I should be easy on you, since you're willing to personally discipline the disobedient? My family will take orders from you. Your family? You are simply describing the situation as it is. You made so many miscalculations, you have no other choice. Right, it's been a hell of a night. I've had a lot of setbacks, but that's business. Hmm, business. You're absolutely right. This is an excellent deal. Fair and equ 
equitable, then. But Mr. Capone, it's Lungman. It's not me. I have no need of your loyalty. Never did. You. From the very beginning, you were. It's what it is. We gotta survive. When you tried to worm your way into Lungman, your mutual suspicion ground turned that you were up into a sheet of sand. A stone is hard to break, but sand, I can easily scoop up a handful. I have no love for trickery, it's really no fun at all. A man, it is what I said a few minutes ago. I truly do not wish to see family massacre family. And yet you did harm to your own brother, right in front of me. Now for this, I would not say you've crossed the ultimate line, so I will not kill you. It's just that, since you disobeyed me, I'm afraid I have no need of such a crafty and conniving friend. You. You had these moles in the family from the very beginning. We waited until we got at each other's throats, and then you. Ugh. You're wasting your life on idle words, young man. Heh. <laughs> While you toyed around with the power over there, the underlings were mulling it all over for you. Truly remarkable. Their loyalty has bought them a chance to survive in Lungman, and a life for each of you as well. Now then. You have seen for yourselves the choices made by these two leaders, and now the time has come for you to fulfill your commitments. Heh. <laughs> Rat King, no. Lin. Lin Grey. You're more Sicilian than either of us. You tore my honor to shreds. Then you let me live. Are you trying to humiliate me? Astonishing. To save your life, you don't hesitate to draw a sword on your own brother. Your own leader. And yet, when I offer to let you live, you are determined to die. I thought only the one out cold over there would gnash his teeth at me, so... That's because I too am Sicilian. Well, I guess I should ask if you really thought you could wipe out one of Sierra Cruz's families and get away with it. Idle threats. You must know that nobody will go to war over an erased family. Take a step back and see that even though some hopeless, scattered warriors may ignorantly think to act. I see. Let them come. Let them be torn to shreds by the true raids of this city. <sighs> you alone have no power to stand against us. Now go! I guess my life just has to go on for now. But one day you'll regret that you didn't kill me. A true Sicilian today. No question. If I were to send a man to kill him now, what would you do? He wouldn't do that. But what he said is true. I have no reason to be so lenient with the Syracuse and Mafioso. We had a deal. When we came to face to face, we defected, and you'd let the others go. Unless, of course, the remaining mobsters force a fight to the death. <laughs> Don't worry, he didn't mean that. He's simply a coward who wants to live, but his anger is not vain. An unrighteous man has nothing for which to live. Remarkable, his negligible dignity saved his life in the end. Thanks. Go. It is time to bring this evening to its conclusion. I'm not looking forward to CB9. See, the problem is, I don't know which way to defend. Okay, I chose the correct path. So then put water here. Defend that. An Exia. Go down there. Vulcan. Go right there. Then we put a free call. Right there. Um, Laplando. Right there. <laughs> Actually, 
Pressão, né? Come on, come on. Yes, okay, so he does go there. What a usual ability to defend. It's perfectly fine. Come on, come on. Give me some more deployments. can defend against that. Huh. But here's the problem. That bully just went through. He went instantly to the exit. God dang it. Well, I mean, that, that worked. That ultimately works, but I need one more tank. I didn't. I honestly did not know that Vulcan could actually defend against a bully. Are you three? Yeah, she's three, but she goes down to two if she uses her combat mode. Oh, well, since she can't do that, but she can do that, so that she can at least heal. I probably don't need all these tanks. But I'm gonna use them anyways, because I can. Neo! Let's heal you up. I mean, level you up. I don't know why I just said heal. There we go. He wouldn't level 40. Yeah, your skill's up as well, because why not? There we go. Oh, five skill, not bad. And now we can go and do it. Hey, yes, let's go with this team set up. I'm honestly still surprised that that was actually working for us. Now, oh, being it didn't work Fully 100% like I would have wanted it to. But it still worked. We just didn't need Texas to go down when she did because we ran out of DP. And then we put a pretty back there again. <laughs> what fighting? So there. Lapalando, you go there. <laughs> Niggas are free, crap.
くに背く悪党名あれには縛られるつもりはない Crap! It's because the freak was down on the right. I played that way too badly. I was too focused on the right this time, not the left. Ironically, that was the left that made me screw up last time, but I still wasn't fully paying attention to it. Eh, technically speaking, it doesn't really matter where I put her. Alright. ゲーム Alright, I think we got a bit of a problem here. <laughs> this is gonna take way too long. <laughs> oh my god! Hmm? Yeah, Actually, you should have built again. <laughs> Neil can keep herself alive. Laughlin! Um, I. I. You banged you this. Luckily, Neil can do enough to keep herself alive. Because Wolf Hoden isn't healing her. This is all on Neil's power. But hey. Now she's getting a healer. And if me can go help. Let's okay, use your ability, please. This is ridiculous. This so isn't how you're supposed to do this. I think. I don't know. I upgraded both of them and I dropped down the drone, so we're getting both options done anyways. You see, I want to kind of let this bully go, just so that Vulcan can defend against him. But at the same time, then I might end up screwing up, and... Perfectly fine. I'll just skip ahead to when he's dead. I just thought of something. Give it a croissant and put a left hand down. There we go, we have more damage on him now. Luckily I thought of this before, you know, actually got him down. <laughs> and now Lapland can finish him off. Thank God I thought of that. Otherwise I would have probably been sitting here for like three minutes. 30, 38 AM, basically 1 AM, Dusty. Well, actually, no, it's 12.38 a.m. Technically. Downtown Lungman Plaza Outdoor Party. They followed the directions all the way, but why is... Is that a block party? Check out that candle, it's huge. Settle down, Ixia. The air smells so sickly sweet, I feel like I want to puke. Hmm, we ought to get ourselves a booth here next time. I bet we make a bundle. Texas, have you heard from the bars? Not yet. He's probably passed out drunk somewhere. Exia. 
can you get this thing off my head? Why? Thanks to this stupid light on my head, I don't get to wear a big fun party hat like that. I'm so jealous. What happened to me trying to force a hat on? I get a feeling that something like waking up hungover to find I'm in the passenger seat of a car driven by a very emotionally charged Texas. That don't sound like a good time. So you've tried that before? So where's the bars? There's so many people here. If the enemy chases us this way, they'll get mi all mixed up with the civilians. Ah. It's Penguin Logistics. And you are the girl from the detective agency. And this guy here with you is that infamous knife-wielding helmsman from the docks. What? No. That's the craziest version I've heard yet. I'm just a typical hawker. Oh, tonight I'm a part-time thin ball master. And he must be Texas. Something happened tonight. Don't act like you don't know. Waifu, you don't have to be so aggressive with them. They're just... I know, but it's ridiculous how many times this has happened. It's fine as long as you don't get anyone else mixed up in this. But when it comes to getting innocent people hurt, causing so much damage to their property, can't you think like honest, law-abiding citizens for once? Nothing we say... We, nothing we can say to that. I mean, technically you're new to the Penguin Logistics, so it's not necessarily your fault. Though it is your fault. If you were a woman, this wouldn't have happened. Actually, p worse things probably would have happened if you were. So what? So we m must correct your deficient character. Th there's no need to come to blows here. We know we've made a lot of trouble for a lot of people tonight, but we can talk this out. Sure. Texas. Let me say this first. Everything that's happened tonight is completely baffling and inexplicable, and also completely exhausting. So let's just say I'm not in a great mood right now. You hear what I'm saying? One on one, if I win, you guys follow the rules to the letter. For at least one month. Just a month! And if I win, then you and all your gold-breaking busybodies have to mind your own damned business. Fair is fair, but it won't go easy on you. Get ready. Uh, how did we come to this? Hold on, both of you, calm down. Can't you just have a fist fight? In you can't just have a fist fight in the middle of the. Whoa, kung fu, sick! The wolf's not going down easy. Come on, look out behind you. It's been a long time since I saw young kung fu this good. Show us some more. It isn't a show. Get her, Texas. Watch your leg. It's a faint. You don't have to join in. <laughs> Soda, want some? Oh, thank you kindly. But ain't you gonna try to stop this little kerfuffle? I can't stop it. Looks like you know that already. So we just watch. Or I guess we could cheer them on. <laughs> okay. Go, Texas! What's that? Attention, all good citizens are attending the sign celebration. What? What's up? What's that guy doing? Can you hear me? Hey, you're too loud. I right, great, you can hear me. Now everybody quiet down, quiet down, please. Lend me your ears and bow before me. What's this guy's deal? Wait a minute, that's Emperor from Monster Siren Records, come on. Shouldn't he be in Columbia? What's he doing in Logman? What is Mr. Emperor doing? The bar is how he does this music producer thing. I mean, he is a music producer. Now, operating capital just from the logistics business, the boss has got all kinds of revenue streams like... Like what? Nah, never mind. Probably best not to say too much. Yeah. Uh. What's the matter? You're slowing down. Look how the people are moving around us. It's too regimented. Something's not right. Don't make excuses. Emperor! Emperor! How noisy. Today is sign, Mr. Emperor. But your dreadful music is loud enough to wake the dead. Say what? You. When did? How'd you get behind me? Good night, Mr. Emperor, and a happy sign to you. Ugly ass rat, you better remember. What just happened? 
Is this some kind of ploy? Did he just stab Emperor? Is he dead? Yeah. Hiya. Ugh. Hey, waifu, you hit the wrong. No, she didn't. We're surrounded. Um, did they follow us out the way from the slums? All these fellas here, they're all in the same team. No way, so many. They're all here for us. It was a trap in Mr. Emperor. Huh. Is this thing gone? Oh, hello. Testing, people Lungman, good evening. Please do not panic, this dead fellow here is but an insignificant penguin. The science celebrations will proceed as planned. Naturally, some professionals will be here shortly to remove this bothersome corpse. Now I know this is quite sudden, and I apologize for the interruption, but I thought I would add one more special program to tonight's carnival. Our friends from Sierra Cusa brought us a very special gift. It is hidden somewhere in this very connect carnival. Time goes short, my friends. Is he watching me? No, wait. That old man. It will be terrible if no one finds this precious treasure. The very last surprise of your lives. Oh boy. Thank you, Neil, for also having three defend. Just thank you. Also, I don't think Pe Emperor is dead. There's no way they would kill the Emperor, right? No way he's dead. I'm gonna go with that. When a force is mixed in with alcohol and brought to a boil, perhaps only ones who will remember what happened are those who watched from the outside. Now this, I believe I've seen that there's a video on YouTube where people have done this with no elite level one units. If that's the case, I have no excuse if I end up losing this. I have no excuse, but first and foremost, like I said, clear SB, SB, CB10 with three stars, clear CBEX2 with three stars. Okay, so now it's just clearing it with three stars. And then you get the S ranks where you have to do it on uh, the e EXs. So for right now, CB10, all we have to do is just get three stars on it. I'm game. No shenanigans, no nothing. I just gotta... Survive? Okay. So the enemy can't get through there. We have two points to heal from. So I'm assuming that the top left can't go to the bottom left. And the bottom right can't go to the top right. There are, however, stairs that will let the enemy past. Oh, good God. How in the bloody hell do you do this? Because the middle is a roundabout, so I'm assuming that bullies go into the stairs and then come out and back around maybe two to three times and then they go out their respective zones. This is going to be carnage, but again, someone did it with... I, th I think someone did it with no E1 units. So I shouldn't have a problem with this as long as I don't play it dumb. I kind of want to bring Scotty back. Just as a uh, d massive destroyer. Let's go and try it first. And see where the chips may lay. Should have probably kept Neil in and got rid of a feet. Man, Perret, why are you out here alone, little one? And your face is filthy. Why are you crawling through air ducts again? <laughs> Uncle Ho gave me this to to me. Man, Perret, Uncle Ho said I'm small and I run fast. And if I got this to you quick enough, he'd give me a yogurt. You have to tell him I did it. Don't worry, Grandpa will tell him. Now you run along. Thanks, Grandpa. Bye bye. Something wrong, Uncle. Do you recall those Sierra Cousins who came looking for us some time ago? The rest of their family has come since to Longbin. Should I contact our spy? No need for that. Let us bide our time. They will come to us on their own. 
What for? To survive in Lung Mid. But it's not like they need anyone's permission for that. They might as well take a meeting with a catastrophe. If catastrophes could speak, maybe we wouldn't need to fight each other. It's just like you said, Mr. Rat King. It's Lungmin. Lungmin's got his own rules. Wei Yan Wu agreed to it a decade ago. We ain't about to go breaking them. But you're the executive, that's why we're here to pay our respects. You want to wipe out Penguin Logistics and take their place. Exactly. You don't know how much, much about them silliots. They still will not be of benefit to you. Huh. <laughs> Gampino. Are you trying to tell us we can't win, Mr. Rat King? Winning and losing are words that have no place in a business discussion. No wonder you had to flee to Yotakusa. You are no match for that woman. You insult the family. Quiet, Gambino. We'll have to pay with logistics here. You need only follow the rules. And I am not here to protect Penguin Logistics. What do you mean? Penguin Logistics is on its face of a legal entity. The only thing that can protect it is the Iron Claw. Clad Claw of Flungmen. But they do, from time to time, cause of... But they do, from time to time, cause offense to various stakeholders. And they never take it appropriately seriously. But bear in mind, Sicilians, you must never overstep your bounds. An unconventional order is not the same as disorder. Santa Cruzans should not understand this more than anyone. But you must never again bring trouble to these old bones of mine. Promise me that. I understand. There's so many more stars in Lungman this time of year. So many more than you think. The tea on the table has gone cold, hasn't it? This is Uncle's. Hey, one o'clock. I'm not deaf, I'm on it. Once I'm done, let's go get tea. Looks like it's our turn. We paid our respects, put down our crossbows, and made sure not to hurt any civilians. All nice and proper, like under the new rules. So, we're surrounded six or so deep on all sides. Oh, like a roll of cake? The Rat King is the boss of the slums. Of course, his claws and teeth are everywhere. Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought he was just an urban legend. I never imagined he'd actually be a rat who would take a nickname like that. With all them around people around, it's too hard to tell who's after us and who's a passerby. We don't have a lot of room to act here. What do we do? You're always asking what to do. Don't you ever think for yourself? Here they come. Here you are. I think you can make out the situation from up here. Your friends are locked in a life or death struggle. Aren't you going to help them? From what I've heard of you, I never thought you'd be so heavy handed. I don't share every last thought of mine with the young people. Sure enough, I always forget what kind of person you are. Many have forgotten as much. Neil ended up six feet deep in an unmarked grave. You're already among the luckiest. You killed the boss. You think that'll just blow over? Heh <laughs> It's all very clear to me. The owner of Penguin Logistics has always acted so prideful. As if above everyone else. The Lugman is changing. She cannot allow this to continue. They needed to be taught to listen. And a very harsh one at that. There's always a com comeuppance when you bite the hand that feeds. You've done so much with the help of Penguin Logistics. Wait, were you planning this from the very beginning? Who knows? Couldn't be. Your whole act is way too good, or at least it's better than mine. Heh <laughs> you really are impressively clever. The flames react to your will, but you put me in the ground tonight. How could I? I respect my elders and care for the young. Mastima. Whoa, Axia. We're the ones who are surrounded. Don't break formation. Hold on, I'm coming. Now I'm mixed in with the normal folk. It ain't no way to fight. What is going on? Mason, don't just sit there like a bump on the log. Get in my way. Move it. They're all... It's all. How can I? I can't. Alright, if that's how it has to be, we'll do it their way. Can you hear me? Message for who? Careful. Okay, so uh, 
Okay. You're here, aren't you? You always have been. You mess high. I don't blame you. I sure was on my father's machinations. Right here, right now. I need you to help me. Of course. Give me instructions, young master. You really think this is the time for instructions? Just send them flying. To hear such an order from the mouth of the young master. Allow me to advocate for the master of the house and ask why. Who gives a shit why? Out of my way, croissants. Huh? Oh. Huh. <laughs> he knocked him into the air. That ain't how I do things. <laughs> the master of the house should be pleased with this result. But should the young master continue in this way, I worry he may find himself corrupted by being in logistics. No, I mustn't obstruct the young master any further. If this is the course he believes is correct. And so be it. You little punk. I'll pull at you in the ground. He dodged. Yeah, <sighs> Something knocked my club away. Careful. We got a sniper. Out of my way. The intensity is out of con under control. Do you move a single step? Isn't it that a little unreasonable? When, when one stands unmoving, that does not mean one is relaxed. Is there anything in Lungman that can defeat you? Yes, Lungman can. Oh, what a crafty answer. I go to the park to exercise every morning. Without fail, it's important to stay active as I get older. And are these morning exercises effective? You have to add in a bit of life experience. How are the two Syracusans? How are they indeed? I really wonder how many of these invisible problems you quietly solve each and every day. How many times have you tricked these people into massacring each other, rather than letting them dip their toes into Lungman? I don't recall. All I can tell you is that regardless of how many corpses piled up in the sewers, there are always far more people who strive to survive. Masima, I'm here too. That's far enough. You guys go help the die low. Right. You won't get away with this. A sniper. The princeling's bodyguard. Out of my way. You're just a regular messenger. You don't belong here. Messenger, that's right. I'm a messenger, but the lady's behind me and in front of me. Making all that noise. They're messengers too. You don't have to like texts and the others. You should leave this battle. Get yourself home safe. You done. Uh, you have to fight in you. Let's do it. Fight. They're corrupting Bison. <laughs> uh, it only took to the final mission, but he's final, uh, finally uh, corrupted. Oh, God. No, he's setting rules for the game? Oh, crap. We will need some rules for our little game, for example. I will search the field for the players with the highest max HP and the lowest max HP. Provide a special surprise for each. Steal yourselves, young people. Don't let your guard down. So basically, don't put any high HP targets? Don't disappoint me. Um... <laughs> Oh god. ただ一瞬です。ちょっと絡まってあげようっと。I'm so confused, like, what is he doing? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> I lost so fast, only because I'm so confused right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. you said rules for the freaking game, whatever. Oh, 
地獄の一等地に部屋を用意しておいたから安心して行ってらっしゃい。黙っていろ悪くない一度りだね。繁栄かあるいは滅びか心配しないで君にできるかな Oh, he actually attacks us. Okay. Kurushimo, wasreta koto wa arimasen. Kujoku, anata wa watashi ga omamori shimasu. So confused as to what the hell was going on, but I somehow managed to do it. Gotta. <laughs> I don't know what the hell just happened. We're just going to watch. We're just going to watch, but I have no idea what's happening. At least they're not hurting any civilians. And there's so much good food going to waste. I hate to see it too, but I guess the street fight is just part of the party. It was planned. Doesn't look like it. Oh, someone's coming. Hmm. Uh, I think I hit the wrong person. Is it kind of unsafe to stay here? I could go back to the office, but what would I even do there? Don't you have a test tomorrow in the afternoon? Crap. Better go. Those two seem as if they are uninvolved in this event. We should ask them to leave. We would not want them to get hurt. Hold on, isn't that man up there with his belly cut open, Emperor of Penguin Logistics? He's dead, and you seem not at all bothered. Bothered? Why? Miss Emperor gets himself into such trouble several times a month. We have grown accustomed to this, to this behavior. His death? Correct. Sounds like Mustima really shouldn't be getting close to you people. You worry about her. I'm just here to make sure she doesn't do anything out of the line. But hmm, it's a really clumsy act. Since she looks so relaxed over there, I guess there isn't anything worth it worrying about. I'm going for a walk. Don't tell her I came. I'll go see her myself when things quiet down. There she goes. She shows up, asks her questions, and leaves just as suddenly as she appears. Is this the way they do things in Laterano now? Maybe. Heh, I suddenly find myself envious of you young people. You always choose your own paths, thinking only of yourselves. You don't consider your places in the grand scheme of things. I also work hard, but no one has ever been able to get to the bottom of you. 
if you ever really did, that would be the most frustrating of all. Indeed, there are some things that should not be so thoroughly investigated. Especially those things that have to do with Mustima, the messenger. What is this? Occupational discrimination? I'm only speaking from experience. Let's take a break for a moment now. Huh. My aunt is suppressed. So you were the one holding back your strength all this time. As for you. But you have wasted enough time. It's little punk. How can he keep fighting? Ugh. I can't. Keep going. All night. Yep, you're doing great. Good thing you were able to deal with so many bad guys so quickly. Hey, we won't let you disappear on your own this time. So this guy is the evil mastermind pulling the strings here. I definitely owe him a personal beating. We got ourselves one hell of a workout now today. The bill is getting mighty long too. Texas, I'm thinking there's a lot we ain't gonna get to expense here tonight. Don't ask me. That's a question for the boss. The boss is dead. Then it'll have to wait. Speaking of, did anybody go deal with the boss's corpse? Leaving him up there to get trampled feels kind of... There we are. The players are assembled. Young people always make their own choices. Even if it means walking through a catastrophe, leaving your body splattered and broken, you still proceed with such determination. What is he talking about? As the grandpa's muttering, don't worry about it. Right then, are you enjoying your sardine? It's alright. Kind of like a hangover in a way I can think about what I gotta do tomorrow. So nobody is going to take care of the boss. Penguin Logistics, you truly are unfathomable. I think we don't need to worry about that, considering... It's Penguin Logistics. The whole reason for this war was someone questioning the boss's tastes. I'm sorry, what? He gave his life to preserve his style. That's our emperor. But I must say, that's one if you ever surprised me in the slightest. Hmm, where's his sand? He still has the strength. Yes, everybody focus. This fight is going to be different. If you let you go down for even a split second, you'll die. Sorry, it must be a lovely event. Lively. Let me see with my own eyes the, the freaks that Emperor raised. My blade broke the moment it touched the sand. That's a problem. Hmm, in all my years, it's bold enough to approach me with blade or bullet, but few and far between. I'll give him one of these. Oof, no good. The sound you up. My hammer's already stuck in the quicksand. I can't move. Hopeless. Is that all you have, Penguin Logistics? That's not all. Sanchez is broken, no Exia. It's Perez time. How many guns do you have? Troublesome Angel. Don't even think about it. Oh, I've been blocked. Thanks, Bison. I'm up, sorry for the old abuse. <laughs> oh, I couldn't get him, Texas, here. Yeah. Wistful thinking. I got this, Texas. Hmm, avoid space to Virginia Mart. What an interesting little girl. How's your spatial awareness? Hmm. He even dodged from that angle. At least you made him move. When he takes us on just standing in one place, I feel like he's looking down on us. Oh, Penguin Logistics. That coat was a gift for my daughter. In all these years, you are the first to even touch it. How many young people like you are in London? What are you capable of, actually? It's enough to just be yourself, isn't it? Or are you so upset? Now, I just find myself with some complex feelings. But it's getting terribly late now, so it's time I... Mm. He's been shot. It's a sniper from before. He's still here. Target down. I'm moving to confirm. What have you done? Young Master, he was a threat. 
You should never have gone so close to him. He has an affinity for Virginia Mites. I cannot guarantee your safety. You must understand, young master's safety is my number one priority. What you're saying is, I was bait. My father knew this would happen, so he sent you too. Young master. Young master, some things are not as they seem. You will come to understand in time, and I promise the master of the house had no intention of exploiting you at any time. And I believe Penguin Logistics will also be expecting an explanation. I must secure this Rat King's remains and confirm that he is deceased. It's fine, the boss is gone. There's no one to hear you explain. Thank you for your understanding. Now, young master, do take care. Bison, now it's not the time to dwell on this. The Rat King promised us a gift. Don't forget. It might be a bomb. That Sienna Crimson guy really liked bombs. That wouldn't be very clever. And there are still some enemies to worry about. Looks like they're waiting for us. The Rat King is gone and they don't seem to be reacting at all. Right. No reaction whatsoever. Hmm. I think I know what's happening. Let's split up Sora, Crusant, Ixia. We'll take care of the remaining enemies. Wait, Cinema Steamer, you deal with the gift. It's almost sunrise, we're running out of time. Damn, what could it be? You're all flustered, trying not to be so emotional. I didn't just find out that I was being kept in the dark about my whole purpose here. Masima, did we actually maybe meet the Rat King before? We did. So you had it all figured out from the beginning. <laughs> Don't try to wriggle out of this one. Hmm, I couldn't have guessed what he was really up to. But we really don't have much time. The LGD aren't going to sit on their hands. As crazy as things have gotten around here, with them jumping in, there's no way we'd work it out. Victorian gun jobs, the candy box. Maybe that was a clue. But there's common sense. They're using the same kind of trap over and over again. But we really dumb. Yeah, but why? The Drag King really had everything planned out. The us running into him before. It couldn't be a coincidence. He was communicating with us from the start. It's his trap. Why would he want to give us a clue? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know either. Maybe we've been too quick to consider him an enemy. I just have a feeling. It's not just a feeling. After we met the Rat King, he kept trying to hint at something or something. Yeah, the basement in the candy shop. Well, it's better than nothing. Got it. This is it. Looks like it's about 80 centimeters by 40 centimeters but in an iron box. Yeah, this definitely seems to be like a big gift box to me. Could, could you explain? Nope, I don't get it at all. Then we better call up Texas. Maybe she and the girls can. There's not enough time. This looks like it's got a timer on it. So it's a bomb. So it's a bomb. Pretty cliche. Both in shape and execution. Wait, Masima, you get out of here. Then what are you going to do? Take a chance. This is a custom shield, and my body is pretty tough too. If I play this wrong, I might still survive. Are you serious? Yes. Then I want to see how this plays out, and don't worry. I might be able to mitigate the damage from the explosion. It's my job, after all. I know. Here I go. You decided that why is the same color as my hair? Um, Mosima. Don't joke with me, please. I'm almost. Ah. Uh -huh. It hits you. Get behind me. Okay, okay. Uh. Why isn't it hot? Wait, this is candy. Pay attention to how you land. You don't want to break anything. What's that sound? Not sure, but wowee. There's people falling from the sky. Ow, ow, ow. Why is this happening again? Uh, so sorry. It's alright. What are you two doing up there? Playing traipsy artist? Yeah, you know, something just hit me. Candy. It's trading candy. Uh, it's that sickly sweet smell in the air again. I think it's about time we wrap this up. Right. Um, um, Texas. You know something we don't know? No, but I have a pretty solid idea. Hey, if you had the lead, you should have told us. Sayin, it's long over. Wanna get them some? So early, let's go to the roof and watch the sunrise. You mafia types are funny, always with the sunrise on the roof. 
God, this candy smashed into my head so much I think I got brain damage. It's a signal to stop and I stopped. But boy, it's more like we just got beaten on. My whole body's so tender. They, they all stopped. What's going on? This doesn't feel right. Well done, just like that. These fellas love candy so much. The candy rain stopped. Yeah, it's so fleeting. If only it would truly rain candy someday. So there was the candy. But wait, what about the bomb? You mean this? How oh, you took the whole thing apart. Just a minute. Masima. Whoops, let's control there for a second. Hope you didn't get burned. This looks like an ordinary metal box. There's one piece of candy inside. Ugh, it's all melted, it's all sticky. And this note, is it from the Rat King? What does it say? Happy sign. Huh. Oh boy. That was an actually fun and ridiculous battle. Where he would randomly target one of our units and yeah. They were taking a lot of damage. I had to double up on a healer on healer basis to keep our left side defended. And then I had to slowly but surely make sure that my right side was able to finish off that one guy. Wait, wait, we got experience records for this? Really? Is this a place I can grind experience records? And there it is, CBST3, oh boy. Ah, crack of dawn. Those looking behind the curtains always have much to gossip about. Perhaps to make the next show a bit more exciting, or perhaps just to cross each other's plans. Other's palms. I apparently can't read. 3.21 a.m. clear. Downtown Lungman, the ends of the Earth Lounge ruins. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, tonight's show is a good time. You wouldn't think it from the stinking pile of garbage we're sitting in, but it was great. Just thinking about somebody else footing the bill for all of our expenses makes me all warm inside. Texas, if you figured it out earlier, you should have told us. I just guessed. You're a really bad liar, you know that. The boy said I'll play it out, didn't he? Don't sweat it, eating, drinking, and fighting are good for the body and good for the soul. What's wrong? You're not going to join them. No, I'm okay. I just, how can I say this? I just feel like I can't accept it. You get used to it. If I'm used to it, then it's all over. Like, what was everything tonight even for? An emperor, he. Gave his life to make the party more fun. Masima. You told me you would be giving me a grade for my performance at the Penguin Logistics, didn't you? I did. I've been thinking about it and why you didn't exactly mess with everybody. I made some great strides. That much is clear, maybe. No. I'm not staying here. Oh, I thought that with everything that happened, you needed Penguin Logistics to be a springboard for you to be bigger and better things. That was the original idea. Turns out you had that all figured out. It's not that I think Penguin Logistics is terrible. Well, it is terrible, but I think them with messengers like this, who live like this, even though my common sense tells me it's ridiculously dangerous, I think it might be what I actually want. I mean, it's like I'll start to question reality if I don't look at it th this way. Like one completely insane dream. Yeah, fist fights, explosions, and high altitude drops will do that to you. Getting thrown into the deep end with penguin logistics isn't great for your mental health. But if you made your decision, as your fellow messenger, I wish you luck. Thanks. Especially since it means your father won't have any crowns to dock my pay. The dad. I totally forgot about that. I need to talk to him. But what is he even doing right now? Mastima, drink up. Cheers. What's with you suddenly fitting over here? Flitting over here. You spilled all over yourself. If I take my eyes off you for one second, you could vanish, and I got a lot of questions to ask you. A lot, huh? Like, the, like about that incident back in Latrano. With your sister, or maybe my horns. 
You're dumbstruck, Horexia. You never change. You always so easy to read. Mastima. Alright, alright. I'll tell you. But right but not right now. You've been digging into your own for a while now. So you must understand. I don't know why. That's classified as a state secret now. Does that matter? I have to get closure on everything about you. I really do, huh? It could be a long and treacherous path with your precious guns confiscated and wicked watching you, hounding you to the mouth of what hell. And that's that's really specific. But no big deal, I run pretty fast. They'll never catch me. Fine. You give up? I give up. Not that anyone could ever tell you what to do. That's not true. There's the boss in Texas. I listen to Texas sometimes. Kinda. You hear what they're whispering about? I think I heard most of the story already, but to tell the truth, I'm all kinds of curious right now. What kind of place is La Toronto anyway? Don't go digging too deep. It's her choice. But what about Bison? He lost his temper quite a few times tonight. He'll get used to it. He's an excellent newcomer to this industry. It's okay to leave him like that. Bison, let me give you a copy of the Great Fruity Guide. I did it myself after real in-person on-site investigations. You bought the Fruity Guide? <laughs> Advertising's real important revenue stream. Oh, okay. We'll have to give me some secret recommendations. By the way, there's some fancy rich guy butler looking dude standing outside the door. Oh boy. Can you really say he's outside the door when the walls are crumbled like so? Huh. You have to pay the rent. The rent. Can you really say he's outside the door when the walls are crumbled like so? Huh. You have to pay the retainer. Retainage for the small thruster this month. Probably definitely said that wrong. We're going to get some air. Young master. I know everything. Father and Emperor had a deal at the same time as the Cruz and Gang came up against the Rat King, is that right? Everything has a purpose, young master. You performed spectacularly well. Given the circumstances, the master of the house is most pleased. And yet I... Twice. That's how many times you followed my dad's orders and did the trick with my shield. Thank you, young master. Huh, having been through so much, how can we still relax and enjoy a party over broken glass and splintered bar stools? This kind of boundless optimism is born from the innumerable life-or-death experiences of a life well-lived, young master. I know, but they're messengers. Why do they always risk their lives? That's what a messenger does. Should you leave home, leave the master of the house, and leave long men. You too will come to understand. I hope so. Shall we head back and see the mess of the house? Father's probably plotting something with Chief Wei right now. I'm sure it's something very important that I can't concern myself with. You are very clever, but the mess of the house did not make these choices to be rid of you. You will go stronger and more tenacious. Maybe I'm not sure if I really will see that day. You go to my father, I need to cut, cut loose a bit. Understand. Do enjoy yourself, young master. Oh, there was one more thing. Hmm. I did have a very good time tonight. <laughs> of course you did. Hmm. Huh. She's, she gets drunk and makes trouble. But she sure is cute when she's quiet, isn't she? Little sister to be proud of. I don't care about her or her sister, but you need to stop her from digging any deeper into that stuff. We don't need that trouble. Not to mention the most important thing. Not to mention the most important thing. Why don't you just tell me not to talk in such a roundabout way? What do you mean? Isn't it scary how you can apparently hear everything I say all the time? Did you bug the place or something? You should always remember who made me your keeper. Okay, then Miss Keeper... What are you calling yourself these days? Why do you ask? It's time for your routine report, isn't it? I've been waiting all night to make sure it's up top. Don't have any new ideas. Why should I tell you? I have a right to know. We're colleagues, aren't we? And I'm personally very interested in the way you change your duties each month. Fine, I guess we need code names to refer to each other in case something happens. 
I'm under the notarial hall this time. The usual independent special operations duty name it's... What's the name? Suffering. Um, what? Why? How should I know? They said they watched some slash of flick and then decided they were going to change it to this with no explanation. Suffering, alright. At least it's less cringy than last time's chosen overseer. Hmm. <laughs> they were taking the piss out of someone else's job and why did the notarial hall agree to it? Did they think for even a moment what if I had to meet Wei Yan Wu? How am I supposed to announce myself? Hello, I'm suffering from the La Torano Notorial Hall. It's a pleasure to meet you. My soon I better, a super sticky from last month, or a treasure guardian that came earlier than them. When he first volunteered to go with me, I already thought La Torano had an organization called the Treasure Guardians, you know. That's enough. I'm writing a letter to La Torano right now. If they don't give me a perfectly ordinary assignment, they better not expect to get regular correspondences from me anymore. You need to understand where they're coming from. It's not easy to trust a horned sancta. Can't they just give me a normal assignment? An exceptional promotion would be cause for suspicion. Being so fr frantic all the time will give you wrinkles from suffering. Oh, don't take it so seriously. Drawing your gun at the first disagreement in a pretty, is a pretty bad habit. Whatever, watching your performance all night made me sick. You're such a ham. Then is it about time we leave Lungmen? I could take you shopping as a way of making it up to you. Yeah, that's a good idea. No, she's leaving Lungmen already! Which reminds me, you must have made a lot of money this time around. How about sending some my way? A little hospitality. Now, potentially speaking, this could actually be a spoilerish thumbnail. Either way, it looks really good. This could be used as a uh, computer wallpaper, if anything. We're both from La Torano. Who's the host here? Fine, but by the way, this angel's halo is blindingly bright. They get in the way sometimes. Lucky, you don't have that problem, fallen angel. Are you jealous? I could buy you a fluorescent lamp to wear on your head. Sounds like a pain. How do you deal with it? Instinct, the moment we start using language, the halo appears. Like the first time you blurred out Mama and Dada. What a beautiful image. Haha, <laughs> Exia's first word was sis. Even though they're not blood related, they still. Enough, let's not talk about her sister. Even if Latorano doesn't care, it's not a topic for casual conversation. It's because you leveled this precious gun at the captain that you fell. He really planned to tell her the whole story someday. The little sister of your beloved battle sister. Hmm, you followed me this long and I still haven't told you. It might be that you, or also my beloved battle sister, have a really bad temper. I'm only under obligation to remind you that you must not speak even one word of what happened at Kazdol. But what about my travel memoir? Sounds great, hey. Why don't you go get your st staff back from that freaky guy before I write you up for it? You're running out of time. Yep, you're right. I'll do exactly as suffering says. You. Boss, is there more work to do? Before you leave Longman, I'll have a real pain in the ass job for you, no doubt. Wait, you're not dead. How much did you hear? A gentleman that don't eavesdrop and two ladies having a private conversation. Plus, I don't need to be an omniscient and all. So you heard everything. Whatever, you're emperor, it's fine. Did you really feel like you wanted to kill him back there? I guess that's our suffering. Shove it. Don't talk to me about, like, some kind of villain. Would you even ever consider joining Penguin Logistics? You wouldn't have to keep swapping around these cringy code names. I must keep track of you as a La Torano. Right. Just an idea I had. It's hard not to use your real name, you know. Right. Time for you to bounce. This ain't a La Torano Cathedral. We don't welcome suffering here. <laughs> I... <laughs> I... whatever. I'm going to go and send a letter. Damn it. Uh-huh. Every one of them reports to get some government office swapping your name around, huh? Seems like you're real popular over there. I think at least half the reason they do it is just because it's fun for them. It's fun, huh? 
Hmm, makes sense. Sounds like at least a couple of Toronto big shots know how to live. Hold up, fun, someplace fun. Aight, I got an idea, Mostima. You're gonna like this job, you know what? This job's gonna blow you away. You just wait till I hit you up. This job, you know what? Is this why Mostima ends up going to uh, Rhodes Island? That she wants something fun? It really worries me when you talk like that, boss. But the sun's almost up. I better go find her. Since everything here is all wrapped up in with a nice little bow, it's time for me to leave. Say goodbye to everyone for me. Especially Axie, and buy her dinner for me. Don't worry about it. We're all going to see each other again real soon. Wow, the sun's coming up. How do I get back? Oh, I think I'm lost. Oh, I'm here. How do I always end up coming back here? Is that... Mastima, oh, she's praying. I better not bother her. I want to see the sunrise. Sorry, he's drunk. Can you let us pass? Thanks. Uh, okay. Damn, Mastima, she's already gone. But it looked like there was some kind of red shadow next to her. Did I see that right? Hey, that kid over there is in a way. Me. You're the prince of MDL, aren't you? The rich as hell prince. Why don't you come with us? Still just need a minute of your time. Again? Um, <laughs> well. What are you laughing at? Hey, the little punk wants to fight. Let's get him, boys. What idiots. Thinking they, they can take bison. Not after everything he's been through. Speed of Light, DJ Okawati. Wait, are these credits? Special to hey, these are actually legitimately credits for this event. So do I tap or will it just go auto? I have to tap, don't I? Yep. Candy catering, Victoria Rainbow Sweets. Man, it's like the ending of a movie. Major expenditures on stupid things, Mountain Dash Logistics. Getting beaten for no reason, Tongue Spin Balls. Yeah. That's a nice image of Mastima right there. And that one. Extra, suffering from La Torano. Being dead, the Gambino family. Oh man, I can't really say that my thoughts on the event when you know it's d done. Plus, I'm not really good at coming up with my thoughts for stuff like this. Guest appearance while taking a walk. Rat King of the Lungman Slums. Another really good image. I like it. And the Glorious the Incredible, the Unstoppable. Who clear any obstacle, solve any case, complete any job. Penguin Logistics. That they do. This car is n This new car is great. Yeah, let's go to the docks and seek revenge for bison. Pixies, can you take it a little slower? I'm putting some cream on bison. Oh, sorry. What's to be sorry for? You got a bloody nose. Just cram the cream up there. It's okay, I'll do it. Yeah, that's about right for the son of that damn ass cow. Can't give anybody any an inch. We got three hours and 25 minutes until we gotta see off Bison. That's more than enough time for a farewell party. Let's see how many punks come at us. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a bother. Bother? Nah, no bother. Honestly, I've been watching these wannabes for a while. They don't even know how to do crime. Those clowns trying to share a city with us. That's a crime. That makes us sound like the most dangerous. That's up ahead. That warehouse is their hideout. Grab whatever you want, Texas. Crash us in on in there. On it. 
So they're getting revenge for the bloody nose the bison got. <laughs> okay, I really like this event. It, uh, it made me like Penguin Logistics and more. I didn't really know much about them. I mean, I still don't really know much about them. But I still really like it. Now, there is no special missions anywhere. And the EX missions do not unlock until, I believe, again, it was June 3rd? So, yeah. We have until then to pretty much do anything we want. And I need to spend all of my freaking, um... All of my sanity parts. Well, most of my sanity parts. Yeah, see, so the reward we get there is that. We get Lungman Dollars there. I haven't even been checking the rewards. So most of which is just Lungman Dollars and Blue Experience Records. But then the final mission gives us these and this. So is this better to grind on for Experience Records? I don't know. I'm going to need to go find that out. Because it's 20 sanity, which is 10 less. And if we get enough experience records, it might be fine. I don't... I, I really don't know. I just don't like the fact that all of my freaking sanity parts, for the most part, have to be used before 6-3. That's gonna suck. Although we get missions, we only do them once, and then we never do them again. Mainly because there's no reason to. I will gladly take all the rest of these. There's another copy of Bison. And thank you for everything from the event. Now all we need to do is get 35 more top tier penguin medals and we have completed the entire event. Oh boy. We at least need to do two to get the final copy of Bison. Complete special missions, collect top tier penguin medals, and earn event rewards. Yeah, the event ends on the 10th of June. Wait, what? How the heck did I miss that? Oh, wait, now we have everything. Doctor. Missions. Yeah, my, yeah, my daily missions aren't anywhere near getting me 100 or them. Whatever. Well, I'm still wondering about Hoshiguma, but again, the episode hasn't gone up. It ain't probably ain't gonna be going up till possibly June 3rd, maybe 4th. Either way, with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next one. Which will probably be the episode of Code of Brawl that ends up making me, uh, rage. Possibly. On EX missions. I wouldn't be surprised if they truly make me rage. I hope they don't. Because if I'm raging on them, then what the hell am I going to do with contingency contracts? Oh boy. That ought to be fun. So yeah, till then, see you guys later.